We're going to review what we've done in the last several videos, and we're going to talk about what we're going to do in this video, and we're going to talk about what we're going to do in the next video. Now remember, JavaScript at its basic level is a two-step process. First, we want to select the element we want to target, and we accomplish that through methods. We've talked about getting an element using the getElementById method, and of course we select elements by their ID. And in the last couple of videos, we talked about get elements by tag name, and that's where we were allowed to select multiple elements by their tag. In this video, we're actually going to talk about get elements by class name. Yes, there is yet another method that we can use to grab hold of an element. And remember, these three methods are pretty much doing the same thing. It's just how are we grabbing the element? And with get elements by class name, we are grabbing it by the class name. That's how we're grabbing it. Now, once we've accomplished that first step, we can move on to the second step, and that is to change whatever it is we want to change in that element. We've actually been changing CSS styles, right? We added a background color. We've changed the color of the text. That's what we've been doing in the last several videos. But there are many other things you can do with JavaScript. In the next video, we're actually going to talk about changing the text itself. And what do I mean by that? We're actually going to replace the text. So that'll be something new we're introducing to the series. You can also change images. You can do validation. You can create entire new pages, and you can change the internal. So we'll talk about all of these subjects in later videos. But in this video, we're going to talk about the get elements by class name method. Okay, so we're going to pretty much use the same code we've been using throughout the last several videos. We have a button, and when we hit that button, we're going to change the text, and we're going to apply a new CSS style to it. The only difference is we're using classes now. Take a look at that. So let's flip over to our JavaScript code. And I'll copy and paste the first step we need to do. Remember, first step, we need to get that element. And what are we using this time? We're going to go by class name. So we're specifying the class right here, para. And you can see that right here. And similar to the get elements by tag method, the get elements by class name also creates a node list. So keep in mind, when you have a method in JavaScript that's grabbing multiple elements, almost always that node list is going to be created. And so this first paragraph will be node list 0, the second one will be 1, and on and on and on. It could go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. If we had a ton of paragraphs in here, we could have a very, very huge node list. But in this case, it's just going to be 2. 0 for the first one, and remember we always start at 0, and 1 for the second one. And so that node list is key because then we can specify the paragraph that we want to target once we get a hold of all of our classes. And so that's what this is doing right here. And so this method is very similar to the get elements by tag name method. The only difference is we're going against class. Okay, so now let's do the second step. We want to actually apply some CSS styles to our text. So I'll copy and paste the code in here. And again, this will look similar to what we've been doing. Here is the node list again. We need to specify that. We're creating a new variable called change text appropriately. And again, each one of these lines of code is going against the paragraph that we want to target. So again, node list 0 and node list 1. And of course, we do that using our paragraph variable up here, which is now holding all of our classes. So we need to specify our paragraph variable which holds all of our class names and then we need to again specify the actual node that we're targeting and then we're just going to use the style object and we're going to use the property color to change the color of the text so let's go ahead and run this And if we hit the submit button, our text is changed to red. Okay, that's going to do it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to start to change things up. And we're actually going to start working against this second bullet item right here. We're going to create some brand new text and replace some text and do some various different things that you can do with JavaScript to completely alter the text on your web page. See you guys in the next video.